Well, welcome to part two of our continuing journey through the AS9100 and 9110 standards. To get a little into a li just a little bit more detail now as we, as we continue our journey, AS9100 and 9110 contain all of ISO 9001-2000 verbatim. They also contain some supplemental information that is focused on meeting the, re the re special requirements of the aerospace industry. Now you gotta remember, it's a very important part here that that supplemental information is in addition to contractual and regulatory requirements, it's not in lieu of. So think of it this way, ISO 9001, 2000 forms the basis. There's additional AS 9100, 9110 requirements, but overseeing all of that are laws and regulatory requirements. Just a brief look at this slide will tell you that there's a lot of key people, a lot of key players that are very interested in this business. Northrop Grumman, Boeing, people like that. So this is a very well uh, looked at, and it's a very, it's a, it's a system that is covered with a lot of oversight. So when the airplanes do fly, there's a lot of assurance that the, pe that the people on that slide have an interest in getting you off the ground and on the ground safely. As with any specific standard, or sector-specific standard, I should say, there are some key words that, may, that, need, that need some definition, clarification. These are everyday words, but they take on a different connotation in the context of the standard. For instance, let's start with the word product. In the AS9100 standard, product can mean service, such as transportation. It can mean software, such as computer programs or a dictionary. It can mean hardware, engine components, wings, uh, wall coverings, or process materials such as lubricants. There's also a very important term that comes up. It's called authority. The way to think about this is that every nation that has aircraft taking off and landing has some, gov some governmental body that's issued rules and regulations regarding that activity. So when you use the word authority, and the word authority does appear throughout the standard, it's referring to the national authority. Maintenance is a very broad term that deals with the overall repair, inspection, replacement, and modification of products throughout its product of, of components of, of aircraft throughout their product life cycle. Most aircraft live today for at least 20 years. Throughout that period of time, they all need to be maintained, and oftentimes they need to be repaired. Key characteristics, this is a very important part of the standard. Think of it this way, every requirement is important, but some requirements take on a different, higher level of importance. Those are called key characteristics. Generally, they, they apply to things like safety, reliability, and, and fit, uh, inter interchangeability of, of components. Another term is human factors. This concept recognizes that humans are affected by various aspects of their lifestyle and physical condition. So what the standard requires you to do is think about that and, and train for it and account for it and be aware of it and adjust your processes so that the human factor element, although you can never make it go away, is at least reduced in terms of causing negative consequences. Within the standard itself, there are five sections that we would certify you to, and those are sections four through eight. Let's move on very quickly and give you a very brief view of what those sections mean. Section four can be thought of as the big picture section. It defines what any quality management system needs to produce good product and deliver it on time. It focuses on processes and their interaction. And also focus on control of those processes. And the third thing, that, uh, the, uh, another, another thing it focuses on, very importantly, is documentation, procedures, work instructions, control of records, things like that. Once the quality system has been defined, the, the second layer of that product of that hierarchy, if you will, is manager responsibility. It defines responsibility for top management. Think of that as the president, CEO, 
perhaps a general manager, a vice president, whoever the person is at the site that has the highest level of authority, that's what they mean by top management. And all authority flows down from that point on. So what the standard requires you to do is the top management needs to be aware of customer input, customer needs, process within their company, communication, and last but not least, a process you may or may not be familiar with is called management review. It is a very high level review of the, of the quality management system in terms of adaptability, suitability, and effectiveness. Now, section six starts getting into the what I'm going to loosely call the stuff that you make things with. It's the building, it's the facilities, it's the machinery, it's the products, it's tools, it's the raw materials, it's the components, it's the people, it's things like that. It starts thinking, okay, you got to have stuff, if you will, to make the ultimate product. And that's what section six is all about. So it's designed, it also involves uh, the, the working environment, such as cleanliness and uh, air standards. So now you've got a system, you've got management responsibility and authority, you've got some stuff, but now you've got to make it. That's what Section 7 is all about. It's called product realization. Remember, product and also mean service. What this section focuses on is planning it, designing it, manufacturing it, measuring it, and controlling the gauges that provide data and a feedback loop, if you will, to, shoot, to give you assurance that the product is still continuing to be produced in accordance with all requirements. Then last but not least, again, a kind of quick review. You've got a quality system, you've got top management, you've got resources, you've got a production process. Now take a look at it productly, measure it, analyze it, and improve it. That's a closed loop system. When you take section eight and feed it back into section four, five, and six, and seven, you've got a closed loop system that really raises the bar in terms of assuring qual high quality product and, uh, and on time delivery. To get more information regarding ASTI 100 and perhaps to download a white paper, click, that, click here to continue.